numerical ability fraction as part of a whole bali mag multiply tayo ng whole number to a fraction or whole number to mix numbers or mix fractions and this is from one of our followers and of course hindi natin i-reveal yung name niya kasi private message ito nasa messenger ito and for those na gustong mayroon kayong ipat mayroon kayong pasagutan natin pwede kayong mag PM sa akin mismo or mas magandang i-post niyo sa FB group Kasi marami din tayong mga members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong ninyo. Number one, this is one-fourth times two hundred. Always remember na lahat ng mga whole numbers, whole numbers ba? Lahat ng mga whole numbers, meron yang one as denominator. Now, sa multiplication, nasa multiplication tayo, Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, bali, 1 times 200 and that is equals to 200. 4 times 1 and that is equals to 4. So, 200 divided by 4 and that is equals to 50. Kaya ang sagot sa number 1 ay 50. Another way of solving this. Pwede namang 200 divided by 4 and that is equals to 50. Now, 50 times 1, 1 lang naman yan. Kaya ang sagot nito ay 50. Next, dito sa number 2. 3 fourth times 60. Para hindi na malaki yung mga numbers na i-divide natin kasi kung mag-numerator to numerator tayo, which is itong 3 times 60 and that is equals to 180, then kopyahin na lang si 4 or 4 times 1 that is equals to 4. 180 divided by 4 that is 45. Instead na yan ang gagawin mo, pwede rin ganito. 60 divided by 4 and that is equals to 15. 15 times 3 is equals to 45. Kesa number 2 ay 45. So, sa lahat ng kapariho dito sa number 1, number 2, hindi na natin yan i-solve. Kasi pariho lang yan sa ginawa natin sa number 1 at number 2. So, kung paano natin sinusolve si number 1 at number 2, ganun din ang pag-solve sa number 4, 5, at 6. Now, number 3. This is 3 and 3 fifth times 45. Ito naman ang tandaan nyo. Sa multiplication. Di ba kapag mag-multiply tayo, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Para magawa natin yan, lahat ng mga mixed numbers or mixed fractions, pareho lang yan, ito yung tinatawag nating mixed numbers or mixed fractions kasi meron tayong whole number at fraction. Bago natin yan i-multiply, dapat i-convert muna natin yan into improper fraction. Anong ibig sabihin ng Improper fraction. Improper fraction. Ang improper fraction, mas malaki yung numerator kay ni denominator. 5 times 3 is equals to 15. Plus 3, and that is equals to 18. Kopyahin si denominator na 5. In other words, itong si 18 over 5 ay pariho lang dito sa 3 and 3 fifth. Bali, itong si 3 and 3 fifth ay pariho lang sa 18 over 5. Itong si 18 over 5, yan yung improper fraction. 
itong si 3 and 3 fifth, yan naman yung mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Now, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Gaya ng ginawa natin sa number 1 at number 2, we can solve this in two ways. Gusto nyo numerator to numerator? 18 times 45 and that is mahirapan tayong mag-solve ng medyo malaking number. This is 810 over 5. Bakit ka mo 5? Kasi lahat ng mga whole numbers meron yang 1 automatic na 1 as denominator. So, 5 times 1 is equals to 5. Mag-divide na tayo. 810 divided by 5 and that is equals to 162. Yung isa pang solution, mas madali kasi yon. Or depende sa inyo kung saan ang mas madali. 45 divided by 5 and that is equals to 9. Ito na lang ang i-multiply mo. 18 times 9 that is equals to 162. Kaya ang sagot dito sa number 3, 162. Isa pang mixed number na i-multiply natin sa whole number. By the way, lalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung iba pang example kung paano yung mixed number i-convert to improper fraction. Number 7, 2 and 1 over 6. Itong mixed number na ito, i-convert muna natin into improper fraction. 2 times 6 is equal to 12 plus 1, that is 13. At kopyahin si 6 na denominator. Ito ang tandaan nyo. A, B over C. That is, kung i-convert to improper fraction, C times A plus B over C. Ito lang ang tandaan nyo. Now, meron na tayong 13 over 6. I-multiply natin sa 12. Again, lahat ng mga whole numbers meron yang 1 na denominator. Automatic yan. So, pwede mo namang i-ignore yan. 1 lang naman yan. So, itong si 12, kung i-multiply mo numerator to numerator, doon ka sa 13, tapos si 6, kopyahin lang si 6. 13 times 12, and that is equals to 156. Now, this is 156 divided by 6, and that is equals to 26. Another way of solving this, gaya ng mga ginawa natin sa nauna dito, instead na numerator to numerator, pwede namang itong si 12 divided by 6, and that is equals to 2. 13 times 2 is equals to 26. In a way, depende naman sa inyo kung saan kayo mas convenient ba, yung mas gusto nyong solusyon. Pero sa akin kasi, ito yung mas madali. Depende lang kung gusto nyo rin yung ganito. Now, i-skip naman natin itong si number 8 at number 9 kasi pariho lang naman kung paano natin sinusolve itong number 3 at number 7. Ganon din gagawin nyo sa number 8 at number 9. Dito tayo sa number 10 lang. Kasi mayroon lang tayong iklaro once yung answer natin ay merong fraction or merong decimal. Dito kasi, puro fractions ang nandito. So, gawin nating mixed number yung sagot natin sa number 10. Itong 5 and 7 over 8, i-convert muna natin siya to improper fraction. 5 and 7 over 8. 5 times 8 is equals to 40 plus 7, and that is equals to 47. Kopyahin si 8 na denominator. Now, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. 47 over 8 times 14. Imbes na gagawin natin ganyan, kasi hindi naman siya perfectly ma-divide, itong 14, hindi naman siya perfectly ma-divide ng 8, so, ganito ang gagawin natin. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Yung denominator natin, 8. 
Yung mga whole numbers, again, lahat ng mga whole numbers, meron yung 1 na denominator, automatic yan. Pwede namang, wag mo na lang isulat yan. Since 1 lang naman, kopyahin mo si 8. Ngayon, mag-multiply tayo. 47 times 14, and that is equals to 658. Now, 658 over 8. Improper fraction yan siya. So, simplify natin. 658 divided by 8. Ilang 8 sa 6? Wala. So, doon tayo sa 65. Ilang 8 yan? 8 din. 8 times 8 is equals to 64. 65 minus 64 is equals to 1. Bring down mo yung 8. 18 divided by 8 and that is equals to 2. 2 times 8 is equals to 16. So, meron ka pang remainder na 2. Itong 82, yan yung whole number. Itong 2, yan yung numerator. At kopyahin si 8 na denominator. Pero hindi pa rin yan ang final answer. Kasi itong fraction natin na 2 over 8 ay malist pa natin yan. Mas simplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. So, kopyahin muna natin si 82. Ang greatest common factor ay 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1. 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4. Therefore, ang sagot sa number 10 ay 82 and 1 fourth. For more examples about fractions, please see description ng video ito. Thank you for watching. God bless.